What the Dalai Lama has done with the statement that he issued last weekend is to set out in clear, persuasive language what the real meaning and mechanism is of a reincarnation, why the Chinese government cannot and should not intrude on that mechanism for his reincarnation or any reincarnation, and how he intends to forestall them from doing that at his own time of death. He said when he turns about 90, he will look at the situation then, and in consultation with a number of other Tibetan Buddhist teachers and others, he would determine whether or not the Dalai Lama should be reincarnated, whether it should be a number 15, he's number 14, or whether it should stop, or whether what the options for reincarnation are. That's been covered. What hasn't been covered is that rather unusually, he reviewed what is it that drives the process of reincarnation. What is a reincarnation? And in doing that, he reached back hundreds of years, or even longer actually, all the way back to the, the time of the historical Buddha, in trying to give people an idea what is, what is reincarnation. And simply by explaining that, he's laying out something that's very obviously not something that the Chinese government led by the Communist Party has any ability or authority to manage. This is something that Tibetan monks, nuns, teachers, reincarnations in the Tibetan areas throughout China, they believe all of this anyway. But to have the Dalai Lama make such a, a clear, explicit, and forceful statement, I, I believe is really going to electrify them in terms of where they are with respect to what the Chinese government is trying to do. The Dalai Lama also in this, I think very importantly, referred to a regulation that the Chinese government issued that became effective in 2007. It's actually a regulation on identifying Tibetan Buddhist reincarnations. He referred to it as outrageous and disgraceful. Very strong language, and this is a very tolerant, patient man, but he called this outrageous and disgraceful. Basically, it's the government that decides whether or not a reincarnation can be possible. They decide who can search for the incarnation. They have to certify the validity of a sex uh, selection, identifying one. They get to supervise the uh, installation. Very importantly, the government supervises the selection of the teachers and the teaching materials. So they basically micromanage every stage of the process from uh, the death of one to the uh, maturation of the other as a teacher. The Dalai Lama is getting old. He's turned 76 in July. The, the party and the government just can't stop speculating about his death. They're just basically eager to get on with the process of selecting his replacement and gradually establishing a new leadership of Tibetan Buddhism. And he's been doggedly saying for quite a long time that he intends to live to be a very old uh, man. He's been throwing around the, the age of 90 for quite some time, which is what he mentioned again in his statement.